about this town because I'm sure our 8th graders have. If you haven't, I'll gladly explain to you. This town is a place where you get to learn about growing up and doing business. This place has full of buildings and it's like praying for 10, but in real life. What you also do there is have your own job, such as being a mayor, CEO, CFO, <laughs> sale manager, etc. There are also certain tasks you must complete with your group. Once you complete all your tasks with your group, you might be promoted as the best citizen of the day or the best shop by the mayor. Hmm, when I grow up, I want to be a CEO at store. What about you? Well, that's all for today's Daily Update Bulldogs. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Sophia and Alexander with, with your, your Daily Updates. Are you excited for today? Because I, I sure am. It's National Macaron Day. On this National Day, we can celebrate the tasty goodness in a macaron. These delicious cookies were first created in France and are now sold all over the world as one of the healthiest desserts ever created. These macarons come in all different shapes and flavors, some being pistachio, chocolate, and raspberry. So don't be afraid to buy a box of macarons and celebrate this day with anyone you know. So right now we're winning. Wait, hold up. Welcome, Baker Bulldogs. Wait, what am I supposed to say? Back? No, I feel like. Hello, Bulldogs. Go. Hello, Baker Bulldogs. Today we're reporting at the Baker versus Children game. Right now we're winning, so that's pretty good. As you can see, we just caught that person right there. That's a fine specimen. As you can see, we just won the game! <laughs> go, go. The score was... Uh, Above 30. And um, I'm pretty proud of the Baker family. Um, proud to be a bulldog. <laughs> Welcome, Baker. So it is for a night of culture celebration. Baker will be having a multi-culture tower night for students to celebrate their heritage. This event will be in the cafeteria on May 29th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. If you want to celebrate your culture, you can either attend or sign up to perform at the event. You can sing, dance, cite a poem, play an instrument, draw an art piece, tell a story, or do anything you can think of to represent your heritage. We'll also have delicious culture foods for everyone to enjoy. We want as many students involved. Let's provide representation to our communities by signing up to perform. If you're interested, you can sign up by scanning the QR code or visit. Our Bulldog Band played their hearts out at the annual band fest on March 7th. The band fest gives the students a great experience to receive feedback from other professional musicians and to perform to other groups to perform as well. These judges at the event give comments and ratings on how well the groups had performed. Sixth grade beginning band had the great opportunity to perform two of their best songs to three different judges from around the state and received an excellent rating this year, which was one of the highest ratings possible. Our musicians put a lot of hard work and dedication into these songs and will give you the opportunity to hear them both on March 28th at 6 p.m. for their live concert at Baker. Hi, I'm Peyton, 
and I'm going to be teaching you the signs for class and school. Are you ready? Class. You want two C hands, make a big circle. Class. Take both of your hands and tap your palms together. School. 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 That's all. Bye. Hey buds, it's me, Chef Justin. And today, we are making a pizza. Without further ado, let us start. First, you will need flour, cheese, tomato sauce, toppings of your choice, and one third cup of water. To start, add water and flour to make the dough. Next, apply the yeast to make the dough rise. Then you're gonna roll the dough out so it's nice and round. After that, you're gonna add the pizza sauce. Apply the sauce and spread it around evenly and poke some holes in the pizza with a fork. Next, add the cheese and sprinkle it all over. Now add your toppings of choice. Pepperoni, olives, peppers, sausages, or basil. Afterwards, place it in a pan, then into the oven and let it cook for about 10 to 12 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you go. That's all from me. Remember, keep it cheesy. It's Cam back with the facts, and today we are checking out both father and son. Edward VII and George V. Edward VII was nicknamed Bertie by others, and he reigned from the 22nd of January 1901 to the time of his death on the 6th of May 1910. George V, his heir, succeeded him as King of Great Britain from the 6th of May 1910 to January 20th, 1936. Edward VIII succeeded George V after his death. Did you know that during a state visit <clears throat> in Paris in 1903, Edward VII's geniality and felicitously worded address, which were in French, and due to it, he won popularity among French citizens eventually setting up the Anglo-French Entente, which would contribute to the outbreak of World War I. The second fact is he became involved in a government crisis in 1909 after the House of Lords rejected a budget by Prime Minister H. H. Asquith. His efforts to encourage them to pass the measure were far from successful. He died on May the 6th, 1910, amid the crisis. Let us succeed to George V and facts about him. The respect for George V increased during the First World War from 1914 to 1918 when he visited the front lines in France several times, encouraging the soldiers. 
The second fact about him is, did you know that he was confronted with an outbreak of industrial unrest? Also being faced with a difficult decision on the resignment of the prime minister in 1923. When he had to find a new one, choosing Stanley Baldwin. And that's all for Cam here today, and I will see you next week. Bye. Okay, remember this Thursday and Friday are half days because we have student-led conferences. So long, see you later. I hope you guys have a good time with your family. Good luck. Make sure you keep your thumbs up.